Back in 2019, I sent in a request to Jeep about the brand new Gladiator. That was three years ago. They sent me a nice little gift pack thanking me for looking at it. This is out of my desk for three years now, and guess what? This last week, I got it. A brand new 2022 Jeep Gladiator Overlander. Today on Reviews It, we are going to talk about this vehicle and take it on a mileage test for over 400 miles. Hello, I'm Todd Cotta and thank you for watching Reviews It. Yes, I have been uh, driving all kinds of trucks these days. The other day I got rid of my AT4, looks just like this right here. And I wanted to do something a little bit smaller, not so off-roady. I looked at lots of different options. I looked at the Colorados, the Canyons, the Rangers, the Forerunners, the uh, Forerunners, the Frontiers, and the Toyotas, the Tacomas. But nothing really fit me. And you know, it's been 15 years since I've owned a Jeep. So I dropped it, went down, and picked up this 2022 Gladiator Overland. Now, what I am not is a off-roader, rock crawler, and those things. I do go to the mountains, I do camp, I do those things, but I don't consider myself a hardcore person when it comes to off-roading and all those kinds of things. And that's why the Overland fit my needs perfectly. This package on this one here has the LED package. It's about 1,500 bucks. 500 bucks for the bed liner that it came with. And this one has the preferred customer equipment package, which is about $4,000. With that, you get the bigger screen, you have better controls, leather interior. You get a lot more options when you get that preferred customer equipment package. And frankly, this is exactly the vehicle I was looking for in the Jeep lineup. You have the, the basic sport, and then the variants of that, like the Willys and a few other ones down there on the base model end. And then you come up to this one, the Overlander, which if you look at the Jeep lineup on the uh, Wranglers, this one would be considered the Sahara edition. But they call this the Overlander because we have the painted fenders and all those things. Next up is the Rubicon, which has been the long-standing number one seller for Jeep. And then now they have the Mojave version of this, which is even higher specced out, much, much, much more expensive. So today, this is the introduction to my truck, and this whole video is going to be about ride comfort. It's going to be about mileage and what it's like to drive this thing from Central California all the way to Las Vegas. And we're going to hit that right now. As we got up at 6 a.m., gassed up in Hanford and headed off through the Central Valley of California, lots of farmland and great sunrise over the Sierras. We then headed up the Tehachapi Pass to Mojave, across Mojave to see the windmills as they were turning in the wind, and we stopped in Barstow for fuel. Well, we're about halfway to Vegas, and um, we are in Barstow, California, a nice little truck stop pilot. Gas prices are... <laughs> 554 for unleaded fuel here. Let me take a look at our miles so far. We are at 212.8 miles and it says here we have 19.6 on the screen. It's a mixture of uh, mountain driving and flatland driving, high desert and agricultural. So uh, 20 miles a gallon, we're gonna go fill it up right now and see what we got. I'll come right back with you, okay? Okay, we just filled up. We're at uh, the pilot here. And it's uh, 10.905 gallons. Let's go do the math. Okay, so let me talk about what we did real quick. Uh, we drove the speed limit. So uh, on the freeways where it was 65, we drove 65. On the freeways where it was 70, we did 70. Light winds all day long, averaging about 55 degrees outside to 60 degrees. And the final number is 212. 0.8 miles divided into 10.905 is 19 point, let me see if I, there we go, 19.514 miles to the gallon. Not too bad for a Jeep going at highway speeds. Now the other day when I was driving on a local freeway at 55 miles an hour, I was fighting up to about 23 miles per gallon, but uh, 
you know what? Two people with a whole loaded luggage and everything else at 19.514, not too bad. We're going to do it one more time. This time we're heading from Barstow all the way to Vegas, and we're going to do one more mileage check. We are back in the uh, Jeep looking at the mileage. 128.9 right there, and 6.737 is 19.13. So we lost about a half a mile a gallon with that wind butting at us, but we were going 71 miles an hour and still getting past like we were standing still. So it looks like we averaged just over 19 miles a gallon all the way from Central California to Vegas. Not too bad for a brick going down the road. This is the V6 motor, Pentastar V6. I just couldn't justify the um, $4,000 for that diesel for the amount of long trips I take and the amount of miles I drive per year. So, you know what? Not too bad, and we are getting ready to go to conference. Well, if you look ahead of us here, you'll see the wonderful town of Las Vegas. City, I should say. Now, I'm here with Rick and me, and we've been going for almost, uh, what, six hours now? We left at 6 a.m. Yeah. Noon. Uh, is this a Jeep like you've ever ridden in before? Not at all. It's a very comfortable and uh, kind of like a leisure automobile. Yeah. Um, I've owned Jeeps in the past, and wind noise, and I guess the, I guess the hardest thing about driving this thing is it compared to my GMC AT4 that I just sold is that it's not as solid on the road you know it's not as heavy so you can feel the wind a little bit more and when trucks go by but well, ride wise it's been very you're, you're smooth. talking two different classes of automobile that's true that's true but I gotta tell you this is a beautiful riding uh, smooth uh, with the exception of the heavy winds, which we we and everybody else on uh, 15 have been experiencing, it's been an awesome ride. You know, that and the wind noise uh, has gone a little bit more. Because we've got 40 mile an hour winds coming at us, the wind noise has been a little more uh, active, you might say. But uh, overall, with uh, this V6 and this uh, Gladiator with the Overland Edition, I think it's a smashing success. What do you think? I do too. Good. I do well, there too. you go, guys. Thank you for watching Reviews It. Please subscribe below. I hope you enjoyed this review. And here we are, arriving in Vegas. You know, a uh, prologue to our video right now is what do we get coming home? We know we got uh, just about 19.5 getting there, but let's see what we got coming home. We filled up in uh, Jean, which is right outside of Las Vegas. And now we are almost home in Bakersfield. And uh, let's see what we got right now. All right, we got 12.217. Uh, now let's go inside and uh, do the math. All right, so we have the final numbers now. We're at 267 miles, and the car says 21.8 right there. Now let's take a look at the calculator. 12, 21.87 miles per gallon. Coming back non-stop, we stayed, we made one stop in between here. So there's one stop in the middle of 267 miles, and we got right at 21.9 miles per gallon and that is highway speeds at 70 miles an hour cruise control set for a jeep that's fantastic i could have probably gotten a two or three miles a gallon more if i was in a diesel but this is the v6 now if i made this trip every day a diesel would be worth it but but <laughs> i don't do this every day it's more city stuff and the amount of miles i drive per year it would take 10 years to offset the cost of the diesel well, there you go. That was a little add-on to the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe below, and thank you for watching Reviews It. Music